Welcome back to Mystic Nine. I want to thank you guys for joining me, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. All that you do is greatly appreciated. Never goes unnoticed. I want to say all praises due to the Most High, Shade of the Ancestors of Light, known and unknown. I want to thank them for clear, concise, accurate information. I also want to call in the Archangel, specifically Archangel Michael, and ask that he protect, he protect me as well as my collective from any outside or negative influences seeking to impact his read in a negative form or fashion. So what I'm hearing, family, is where did I put the rest of my deck? What I'm hearing is all they can do is project illusions. And this is why they're upset because this is literally all they could do. Hold on, family. Whew. So all they can do is project onto you. They don't, whoever this is, they already don't even have any access to you anymore. That's another reason why they're upset. Because now they can't even get in your ear with certain things and try to do little things to get to you or sabotage you. Now they can't even do that because they're not around you no more. So all this person can do is project, project fears of doubt, sabotage, something going wrong, and project. And then, and, and then this is how much this person, whoever I'm speaking about, sits and focuses on you. They, they, they're obsessed with you, quite frankly. Like, I gotta be careful with my nails. That should be snatching my hair out. When I got them little charms on there and shit. I'm ready to get my hair back braided already. Uh, this person is so obsessed with you. So obsessed with... They already tried to ruin your image. And that's why they're so obsessed with ruining it. Because they feel like at least if they can ruin it or they can fuck something up for you... It'd be like, I told you so, you know, like the whole time is them trying to fuck it up. But this is how they feel like I have to fuck this up. No, you're going to get fucked up. It's what's going to happen. Listen, we like to say, I keep saying this to y'all because I need y'all to understand this. If there is no enemy within, there can be no enemy without. Whoever be spinning their wheels, doing whatever they doing. That shit ain't going to affect you. It can't affect you unless you allow it to. When you see the thoughts or you feel the thoughts and you identify them. And it's like, nope, I'm abundant immediately. Nope, 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 no. I refuse. I refuse. I'm hearing, I know I've been changed. And this person is upset because I feel like you have been changed. You're, you, you have went through like a, like you basically reprogrammed yourself. You have reprogrammed yourself. So these people need you to go back to an old vibrational state. This person, they desperately need you to go back to an old vibrational state, a low vibrational state so that they can infect you. Well, that, that's that's where they want you at. Because you're not going to be attracting. You're not going to be manifesting if you're focused on this and you're focused on that. You know what I mean? But I feel like I'm hearing your blessings are protected. And this is the thing. As long as you know that, they can spin their wheels. They can drive to Calabasca. I don't even know what it is. They can drive anywhere. They can do whatever they want to do. It is not going to have an effect on you. You may feel the energy come around you. Clear it out. Transmute it. That's it. Identify it. That's it. If you're up on your shit, your meditations, your, um, you know, we ain't always up on it. But if we stay up, if if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready is what I'm hearing, family. If you stay ready spiritually, you ain't got to get ready. Because while they're doing what they're doing, you already are living a life that automatically repels lower vibrational shit and entities. They're hoping that they can en enact some form of anger in you that this thing can attach to or some of these people could be trying to send you gifts or send you something because these items they want a hex them motherfuckers ain't gonna make it they gonna rip they gonna tear apart they gonna get put in trash don't even accept it let's get a message i'm telling you this is about these people want to affect your prosperity you being on the up and up they hell bent on it. Four, four, four. Like they are obsessed. We are realizing your desire. Okay. 
So the things that I noticed that I see is it says, men comes back to me in peace and harmony. That must have been from the first page. So what I see is he prayed like he prayed like this night and morning. And during the day when hateful thoughts would come, he would say, God is with me now. So I don't care if certain thoughts come to you, say God is with me now. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. They are not my thoughts. I do not align with them thoughts. You got to reject things. You have a mouth for a reason. You got power in your tongue for a reason. You you know, the universe don't know you don't subscribe to it unless you say so. No, I don't subscribe to poverty. I don't subscribe to worry. No, I'm going to get this done. It's a mental attitude. Okay, so something that I noticed, it says, it says case history number two. A young girl in our recent Bible class practiced the presence in this way. She said a man was constantly annoying her by calling her on the phone and meeting her at her place of employment. One day she decided to do something about it. She relaxed, quieted the wheels of her mind, focused all her attention on the God presence within by realizing it was there. She quietly said to herself, God never made a man like that. Only the God in him is expressed to me. God is all and only God can be expressed through him. This man completely disappeared out of her life. She never saw him again. She said if it was as if the earth swallowed him. Undoubtedly, he was healed and blessed by her prayer and she had a healing also. Prayer always prospers. So make sure you're praying. And we need to know that. It's not no belief. We know. Prayer always prospers. Them prayers don't come back void. Every time you pray, you whatever they start building, you knock it right down. It says prayer always prospers. It is like gentle rain from heaven. It is twice blessed. It blesses him that gives and him that receives. She saw this man in a new light. Then he felt this change within him. He was healed and ceased to annoy her. Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Somebody could be popping up to somebody's place of, place of employment, wanting to pop up to somebody's place of employment. Somebody going to get swallowed up by the earth. I'm hearing, have you ever been swallowed up? Some information will come out, somebody going to be swallowed up by that information. Um, it says, love your enemies, bless them that curse you. And it says, do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. I'm going, I'm going to subscribe to this. I'm going to agree with this. I'm going to agree with this. Because I really believe that you don't throw fire on the flame. I believe that. I don't, I, listen, I ain't speaking for nobody else. And I'm not saying you're wrong for whatever your beliefs are, how you want to go about it. But I'm going to put it this way. If you so obsessed with me, hell bent on me or the collective or whatever the case may be, 818... You got some issues within yourself that need healing. And I pray that you get healed because through your healing comes, I'm going to be free regardless. But I mean, because it comes, because, you know, my freedom comes, my freedom from you comes through your healing. Some people are sent your way for you to heal. Because you ain't never going to do them like them other motherfuckers did them. You ain't never going to hate them like them other motherfuckers hated them. So when they think about the world and when they pass on, they're going to realize not everybody was bad. Not everybody was an enemy. Not everybody was evil. Somebody sitting up and like that nine of swords energy, that attitude energy. What was me? And all because 9-11, like this is an emergency uh, of the broadcast system or whatever I mean here like we gotta do something about this you know what I'm saying that's how they feeling <laughs> what did I say they're sitting up in the they're sitting up in the what I say in the woe is me they anxious they exhausted they depressed they stressed but all of this is coming from what you know, some secrets you know about them. For some of them, they may be attached to a coat or they may something like that. They go see a coat. But this could all be attached to secrets that you know. 
Their spirit is uneasy. Those three candles there, their spirit is uneasy. They're all in their head about, you know, whatever you got going on. We got the three of pentacles. This could be about whatever you working on. This could be somebody that was working with other people, but this could be them stressed about something that you're working on and that you're building because it could be getting bigger and bigger. October 20th may be relevant. I'm hearing us uh, sitting up in my room all day. I knew one of these didn't go. I knew a couple. What is going on? I'm over here using two different decks. I don't know what I got going on, family. Hold on. Where the rest of that day? All right. So anyway, oh snap! Hold on, y'all. I got a lot going on over here. Mm. Yeah. So I'm here sitting up in my room all day. Is that Brandy? Vexed, Ali, Liz, Lizzie, Elizabeth, Karen. I hear Frank a lot. Eleven, eleven. Show me this nine of swords. People could be checking to see if you're in this energy too, because this could be the energy they're trying to send you. But that's the, trying to send you. But that's them. Eight of Pentacles. So they could be working to do this, to create some. They they could be trying to work to make you feel stuck because you're in a public eye or some type of success that you're having they don't like. Diligently working. Some somebody is just upset even at the fact of how hard. You're working in the fact that they can't block you. Six of Wands, the star, some type of fame and recognition that you're having. They're really truly ups upset. Three of Pentacles, this don't even belong in. Ooh, the Will of Fortune. Yeah, like shit turning in your favor. People love you with this Six of Wands, but then there's this shady individual here in this Six of Wands. This person that's over there leaning down, this is the individual from the Seven of Swords here. So there's somebody here that wants to come and steal some type of success, fame, spotlight, stop you, and they're stressed about this. The hangman. The hanging man. They want to try to, like, bind you up in some type of way with this hangman. The way these chains are around this person's ankle and they look stuck and trapped here. They want to knock you off this high horse. You see how this person is upright on this horse and then this person's upside down. This person feels like, yep, because look, look at the horse throwing his legs up. And it's like this person's about to fall back off the horse. This person feels like you're on your high horse. And they want to knock you off this high horse. I'm hearing something about a pedestal or feeling like people putting you on a pedestal. We got the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got strength. Somebody is pissed at your ability to see through illusions, to see through bullshit. Or this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that's in this, this energy of being stressed by your success. With the strength energy and the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you work hard. You go hard. Something about your focus, your your work habits, your diligence, your discipline. The way these webs are around these pentacles and this rat right here, these people could be seeking or trying to find a way to bind up your money or steal money from you. The rat's with the money is making me think of in bad boys where the rats was eating away at his money. So these people are the rats trying to eat away at your money. Capricorn, Tori, Virgo, the Ace of Swords in some type of way. Your wealth. This could be your wealth. Two of Pentacles. They want to find a way to put you back in a position where you robbing Peter to pay Paul. Too many. The Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups. Could be something about some family members. And then the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Some type of divination. It seems like they want you to get some type of bad news.
This is people you walked away from. So some they want something to turn into like a bad financial. Um, they want to mess up this financial opportunity or block for something like this. We got the Queen of Wands here sending some type of energy persistently. So somebody sending some type of energy persistently. This could be to block someone's intuition. These don't even belong in here. This could be somebody from the past or a family member or something like that. Look, jealous. The Five of Wands, the Five of Cups. These people are jealous. They want to ruin. They want to ruin stuff for you. They already have ruined stuff. I don't know why, but it seems like I'm just getting energy of it. Everything these people think they ruin, God just gives you something better. And this is something that these people are completely tired of. Yeah, they want you to lose everything. We got justice. But they, you ain't going to lose shit. Six of Wands and justice because this is your justice. This is what you deserve. This is what's rightfully yours. This is what you deserve. Somebody ain't see this coming. You having this will of fortune, this uh, spotlight, success thing. They ain't see this coming. The nine of pentacles, it don't go in here. Somebody don't like you being financially independent. And like I told you, they want to knock you off that high horse. Um, they want to cause some type of creative blocks for you too. We got the three of wands. Yeah, they want they want to they want to halt your growth or your expansion in some type of way. The tower. I heard delay. Something about a decision. I'm definitely seeing it. Or trying to send someone in your. It, it seems like these people want to put you in an energy of confusion. They want you to make a bad decision. Now they're waiting for you to make a bad decision. All they do with this four of cups is sit around and pay attention to your life and wait for you to have like some type of fall from grace. With the two of wands, it's like these animals staring. They're just watching and waiting uh, the will of fortune because they, they are stressed about you having this success. Who is this? These people could be trying to block your intuition. The star next to this two of swords. If they were, I feel like it's healing. We got the six of swords in reverse. Somebody could be stressed about you never coming back. But I feel like they want you to go backwards in life. Like you have experienced some type of transition. You've moved away from something. And with the Six of Swords, they want you to go back into some type of low vibrational energy or something. We got the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles on the Eight of Pentacles. But let me see. It's investing, working hard. Yeah, trying to sabotage, steal something that you've been investing and in, working hard on here with strength energy. This person could be, some storm could be coming their way, getting in some type of trouble. They could be sick. I don't know why I got that. The nine of wands is here. This does not belong in here from trying to control these. Don't belong in here. This person is persistent at trying to create laws for you because they see you getting your wishes fulfilled. This could be a grand, a grand, an elder with this Hermit energy. It could be an elder. See the four of wands. This person may not want you to get married. This person is very jealous. Five of wands, seven of swords. It could be a lot of chaos going on around this person or conflict. We got the Six of Pentacles. These people are jealous about people sharing wealth with you and stuff like that. And giving to you. And they want to steal some type of wealth from you. I see they got their hands out in the Six of Pentacles. 
These was people who tried to make you seem like a beggar in the past. Like you was only good enough for handouts. Knight of Wands energy. With this Six of Pentacles and Knight of Wands, I'm getting something about energy, give and take, your portion, your fair share. With this Five of Cups, I feel like people were getting their fair share for what they deserve with justice. Like, I don't know why. the Of the energy that they put out. It could be something about three people, a Knight of Pentacles, a Knight of Wands, and a Queen of Wands. They could be having a tower. It could be like a mother, a son, and a sibling. Or something like this. Let me see. Show me the Knight of Wands. These people could have tried to take your passion from you. Your inspiration. When you were young. Show me the Knight of Wands, please. Maybe this Knight of Wands wants you to share it as wealth or something. Then we got the Knight of Cups. We got the Wheel of Fortune. This could have been something you were taking action toward since a child. And you're finally getting your just due. Well, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords. Somebody, a masculine could be coming in or something like this. Or something, could be a twin flame with the Four of Wands that's watching you with the Page of Swords. They're watching you have some type of options, opportunity. We got the Emperor. Four of Swords, they're contemplating the Chariot. This could be coming in. We got the King of Wands. This look like different lovers. Like I'm getting different, different lovers or something like this. I told you with this justice, this is something that you deserve. This will of fortune is something that you deserve, something that you worked hard for. And this is why it's something 2212 that they can't take from you. Death. I'm telling you, this is this is official. They say death is uh permanent, you know, in terms of life. With the three of wands in his death, I feel like you're not looking back, and they know this. You weighed your options, and the best option is that you ain't looking back. Somebody could be choosing to end something, but this could have just been you. Somebody could be like looking over their life, thinking about their life and it, something about the ending or some shit like that. They could be up in age. Show me the three of wands in death. This could be a transformation that you're having. Hell, they might even want to get rid of you to knock you off that high horse. Because I didn't even notice, but I see a horse right here. And I told you somebody felt like you was on a high horse. We got the king of wands. I'm about to say somebody could be dying. We got the Ten of Swords. Or this person wants you to have a painful ending. Some, these people are seeing that you've had some type of transformation. Mm, we got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I mean the Page of Pentacles in reverse. This could be a Capricorn. This could be a failed plan. These people could have been, you could have realized these people have been trying to stop you from expanding since a child. Because then we have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the world. And you could have closed out the cycle with these people, the Three of Swords. Hmm. 
show me the page of pentacles in reverse somebody could have got some bad news a bad bill of health or something like this show me the page of pentacles in reverse death we got the eight of wands this could be some type of communication coming in maybe this person finding out they dying so they want to come communicate or they're going to try to use this to play on your emotions or some shit like that what's this eight of wands two of pentacles weighing our options here ten of wands they're heavily burdened there could be a masculine a father that is dying august 2nd april 10th We got the magician. This could be from some type of magic they were doing or paying for the ace of pentacles, the devil. Okay, so no, somebody could be going, somebody could be traveling with that three of wands in death. The page of pentacles in reverse could be divination. They could be traveling to do some type of magic here or something backfired from when they paid January 15th. We got the page of pentacles contemplating the four of swords. They could have did some magic to try to make you retreat from whatever platform you're on or something like this. August 4th. We got the Six of Swords. Yeah, maybe they wanted to make you walk away from it. We got the Tower. 616. Somebody could be suddenly realizing something and they could be releasing something. The page of cups, this could be some intuitive messages about something. We got the seven of cups, some illusions. A option, some choices. The eight of pentacles. Some work somebody was doing, July 6th, August 16th. We got the four wands. This could have been somebody that this person was married to, collaborating with, working with. It was a family member of yours. March 4th, April 8th, August 16th, the Two of Cups partnership. So there was a partnership here. Somebody was doing something to control you. They were working with a family member, the Six of Cups, the star, because you were having some type of fame. Paying the devil or paying for magic. Show me the Ace of Pentacles and the devil. Justice. It's the truth. Ten of Swords. They wanted to defeat you November 15th. They wanted you to have a painful ending, some type of delays. They wanted to set you back or some shit like this. We got the sun, but all is well. All is well. So let's see what's going on with these people. I heard they still in hell. And for some of you, somebody could be in jail. I'm hearing, I toss my pain in a wishing well. Juice world, wishing well. Somebody moving into some trouble here. They, 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 they in some serious trouble for something they tried to do. Once you were, you was already in your destiny here or something like this. Whew. Five of Swords. Yeah, they wanted to defeat you. They wanted to win at all costs. They want to see you have some fame. So they traveled, is what you're saying? We got the lovers, this couple, I believe. Or this Gemini, the devil. This toxic couple that don't even belong together. The moon, behind the scenes. They was behind the scenes doing some dark shit here. To delay you. To keep you stuck is what I'm getting. <clears throat> Bad choices, man. They could have been doing some moon magic. Making sacrifices to the devil with the hangman. The three of cups. Sex rituals. Threesomes. All types of shit. The knight of wands is here. All types of shit to get, to send you some type of energy here.
We got the King of Cups in reverse. This person is emotionally unstable. Out of their mind. We got the Emperor. This could be a baby father. This is somebody very um disappointed. And they could be walk they walking away from either a third party or somebody they were collaborating with or It's something about who this person was partnering with or sleeping with an old friend of yours or something like that behind the scenes. People are disappointed that you walked away and you good. They thought they put enough obstacles in front of you to, to block you from getting anywhere for the rest of your life. We got the magician in reverse. Yeah, this person, these people was making some type of sacrifices to keep you stuck to this magician. Two of swords to block your intuition. They could have been literally doing something to get this person to do this magic. They could have been sleeping with this person together or something, some weird energy here. We got the high priestess, the devil. You could have felt this energy being sent to you and transmuted it. Or these people were secretly going to see a dark high priestess or some shit. We got the tower with the moon. It's, whatever, this is causing a tower behind the scenes. Whatever they did, they went to do this ritual to delay what you had going on. We got the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo lover that betrayed you, the Three of Swords. This person with the Ten of Swords having a painful ending here. They could have become some type of sacrifice. And they may want you to have some type of compassion on them. I've seen the Queen of Cups looking out at that Ten of Swords. You're protected royally. From whatever the fuck is going on. We got the Knight of Pentacles. This could be a Virgo. King of Pentacles. From the... From the Knight to the King of Pentacles. S slow and steady wins the race. Slowly but surely. This could be somebody you have a child with. We got the Page of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Phase. Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. I see wealth growing, expansion, the Three of Wands, expansion. So these people, whatever they traveled to do to block your wealth may have very well expanded your wealth from the Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. And these people could be at, confused at how you're making more money. The four wands, and it could be something about your stability. Because they did something to block your intuition. King of Wands, this person's having a, a, a tower. They're jealous about some type of wealth building for you. We have the sun. Something's being exposed. This person could have been in your, your birth chart. I see Saturn. So this person um, could have some heavy Capricorn placements and they could be in some big shit. It'd be something about Saturn and Jupiter. With the Seven of Wands and the Sun, I feel like they tried to, with the High Priestess, they tried to block your connection. The Ace of Cups. They was doing some type of magic on the moon cycles to block your connection from source because they obviously found out that you're very, very well connected because they wanted you to walk away from whatever you being you were being celebrated for. They didn't like this. We got the Ace of Cups. Yeah. And God seen this. Of course. They could feel like you have this all-seeing eye because you're connected to source. This is why you have this. People could have wanted you to not move forward. The chariot. The ace of swords. You're still moving forward. I 
I'm getting something about this could be somebody from a past life. Somebody could be a tourist. It could be something about like Roman times or this person is moody and aggressive right now. Show me this King of Cups with the Emperor on it. King of Cups in reverse with the Emperor. I hear the horn. It's something about your ancestors, your lineage. You come from, or where you come from, like. Something about your. This Emperor is really disappointed they couldn't block your spark or something like that. We got the Queen of Swords here. Yeah, because you see clearly the Eight of Pentacles. And you see clearly when they're doing some type of work. You see clearly the Five of Swords. With the Seven of Wands. Yeah, they wanted to win at all costs. Trying to block your connection, like I said, to Source. The Nine of Cups. The sun, the nine of cups, satisfaction, happiness, fulfillment. This person was doing dark magic to block and delay all of this. We got the three of pentacles on the ace of cups. Yeah, it's a teamwork thing between you and spirit. The three of pentacles and the ace of cups, you work side by side with spirit. And with the eight of cups here, they wanted you to abandon what you do in unison with spirit, the hierophant. Hmm. You're like a guru. You're like a spiritual teacher. You work for source. This is your fucking job. The Ten of Cups. So this person is, is out their fucking mind to be doing this. They could have been trying to fuck up your Ten of Cups or working with somebody from your family. Show me the Ten of Cups, please. This could have been a leader, Gemini, Aquarius. They could have traveled overseas. To call you some type of tower when they see you was having when they see you were having some type of success. Somebody name could definitely be Kathy. Ooh, we got the nine of swords in reverse, the seven of pentacles in reverse, strength in reverse. Something was a bad investment. The fool. Something was a bad investment. Somebody can feel as though they're losing control. They could be waking up from some type of nightmares or some shit like that. Show me the Ten of Cups, please. The Two of Cups. be something about you and a new lover or whoever this person was working with the third party could be a family member of yours seven of swords being sneaky so this person was working with a family member of yours being sneaky trying to steal some opportunity from you the four of wands could have been a marriage a proposal um something that you got going on we got the two of wands in reverse whatever the case may be the plan fell it fell they could have literally tried to make you take the wrong path or something like that. But with the two of wands, the plan fell. Six of swords, because you sailed on the calmer waters. Nine of wands, and somebody's angry about that from your past. The six of cups. <sighs> Jesus, Jesus, these people need to get it together. So they're upset that you're still moving forward is, is the basis of all that right there. Shit, they might be upset that you're just still alive. Should be something about some legal proceedings. We got alive, marriage, and wedding. So this person could have. Somebody could be married as you. To this person, spouse or partner, black sheep. Somebody could be married to this. I see devil married to this person as you or some shit like that. We got my boo. Official status, exclusive relationships, seeing each other openly. Tell me more. We got greed. So 
So this greedy couple or this person you was dealing with, this person is greedy. Or whoever this is, they're greedy. They got involved with this other person because of greed. We got regret. We got penny pension. So these people regret doing something to try to affect your finances. We got greed again. They were, they were being jealous because now they penny pension. We got the blues. A toxic masculine could be stressed out, having a lot of mental distress. They could also be having a lot of mental distress because of somebody they slept with raw. But these people were penny pinching. They were so jealous of you and you winning that they did some type of spell work to slow it down. And now they see it happening in their finances. We got trapped. Yeah, they're trapped because of greed. Like, they could be getting evicted. It's showing in their finances. We have squad, close friends, regret. So this is this is a squad, a group of people who was doing this to you. And this person could have been sleeping with a close friend of yours or somebody. It could be something about some type of life insurance policy here. And you still alive. They could even try to take a life insurance policy out on you. With this family member of yours. We got imprisonment. So somebody is in jail or they're going to go to jail for because they basically were being lustful and greedy. And they fell into this trap with these close friends and family members. We have deaths. This person could be contemplating death, mental distress, death, numbing. Yeah, they're using drugs to numb here. So they're thinking about committing suicide. We have homicide, hidden. Because these people were trying to get rid of somebody. We got Bonnie and Clyde, or they actually have done this to somebody already. Their houses, I told you, they could be getting evicted. Their houses could be getting repoled. All types of shit because of this spell work that they did. Hell, this person may be contemplating homicide because they broke. Suicide and homicide. Uh, 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 what they call it? They call it a... I'm hearing double... Double suicide and a homicide or a suicide and a homicide or... Something like that. If I can't have you, no one else can. We got grandparents. So it could be something about a grandparent's assets or their, their assets or their home. This could be somebody's grandparent that's going to go to prison. We got male. Now, nah, this is a male. This person could be thinking about them going to jail so they could be contemplating suicide because whoever they got with after you, your family member or whoever this was, they, they in some trouble with this person. We got time, delay, procrastination, and too busy. We got fraud. Yeah, these people were being greedy. They were doing some type of fraud, doing magic on you and your finances. We got obsession, physical attraction, sex appeal, suicide. I feel like somebody is really obsessed with you. This person suicidal. This person off they fucking rocker. And with time and um, homicide, this person, this could be type of person like they will get rid of themselves. But you got to go too. We got party. Cover up. Something could have happened at a party that these people were at. They trying to cover this up. We got celebrity. These people could be jealous about you being some type of celebrity. But no, this is about to go into something else. Celebrity party cover up. Somebody trying to cover up some shit that happened at a celebrity party. We got gift. I don't know why I heard the gift that keeps on giving. Friend of me. Toxic lifestyle. Somebody could have had a friend that was at one of these celebrity parties somehow or something like this. And this person could have wanted something, a gift or something. They could have been trying to use you to be the person that they sacrificed, which is really weird. So something about a friend of me and some toxic something that happened at a party. A toxic female and a toxic masculine that was sneaky linking with each other. Or there's a hidden situation shit. Yeah, there's a hidden affair here. These people were in debt. They could be in debt. They could be moving. But they was in debt, and this is why they tried to do whatever this was. We got justice. And they going to jail for that. It say lift off, fast action, progression forward. The wait is over. So you could be taken off. This could be something else that's making these people upset. We got travel. These people could be trying to get up out of Dodge. Accident. Somebody could be... Faking a death in an accident, like getting an accident, then setting a the car on fire. 
So there's something about a situation that this person, whoever this mistress was that they were having an affair with this rebound person, these both was these people both were living some type of toxic lifestyle. They could have even somehow been in touch with these celebrity parties. And this is what led them to get into some type of dark shit. This could have been this cult, whatever. They ended up getting into some type of dark shit here. For some of you. There's some hidden fraud going on. These people are trying to cover up some type of fraud they did. Somebody's name could be Nick. We got tiptoeing. And it says avoiding getting caught. Yeah, somebody was sneaking around with somebody. A close friend of yours, a family member. We got egotism. This egotistic masculine. We got bye, Felicia. Lucky break. Child. Somebody could have got somebody pregnant they were having an affair for, affair with, and they feel like this is the turning point in something. We got spouse partner. So they was leaving this person behind because they didn't want their spouse or partner to find out. We got super size me. This person could have been on the heavy side or they didn't want their spouse or partner to, to find out they've been doing too much. We got devil and legal proceedings. Somebody got rid of a person and a child. A pregnant person and a child. Because their partner was cheating with the, having an affair with this person. And this person got pregnant. And now there's some legal proceedings and some evidence of this shit. Something could have been found in the trash. Strangulation. They could have found the body of the child in the trash. The pregnant woman in the trash. Hell, maybe it's some DNA. So maybe these people staying at some type of hotels or motels. Because there's some type of legal proceeding or this, this affair was taking place at hotels and motels behind the scenes. We got jealousy. This was with somebody that was jealous of you. Somebody was jealous of you was having some type of affairs and meeting up with your person behind the scenes. Accident. We got fast action, progression forward, the wait is over. Could have gotten a car accident with this person. So I see dirty money. Laundering still illegal. So something's coming out about whatever these this money these people stole. They laundered, whatever they're doing was illegal. We got reading up. Yeah, and it says gaining insight. So there's insight coming out here about this couple or these people. And whatever money they stole and whatever scams they was doing and being illegal. And I feel like somebody trying to leave somebody behind now. Say long call, ended the winning. They thought this person, we got coke. So it's, these people could have been driving long distances or traveling to go to this coke is what I'm getting. Somebody was invested in a coke. Laundering money through a coke. We got secret, a secret coke. So these people were attached to a secret coke. And for some of you, this is somebody you were married to. You was married to. This person was there. They were married to you to steal some type of money. We got honeymooning. That was the purpose of this person being here. We got Bonnie and Clyde. Ghosts. Yeah, these people, they done got rid of somebody out here. We got a couple. So this couple is in a secret cult. And they love bomb people for personal gain. Player, player. Yeah, okay. This is going into another story. So, I'm going to get up out of this. This this second half with these cards may be a different story. But there is a couple here that's in a secret cult. But that could have been them people this person was collaborating with. That could have been whoever this person is. These people can be attached to a secret cult, whoever they is. All right. I want to thank you guys for joining me, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. All that you do is greatly appreciated. It never goes unnoticed. Peace, I'm staying love y'all.